quick little video. My brain's in 2505. Bought it yesterday. It's a 2020. My throttle lever has broke loose and it won't, if it is set to high idle, it'll just bring itself back up. It's broken loose. You've got a bolt here, here, uh, top, same ones on the opposite side. Come under here. See your throttle lever. Here's going to be where your throttle level lever runs down, comes into here. You've got two little rubber type washers that are going to keep tension on this and supposed to stop it from breaking loose. Same on the opposite side. And then I have added a lock washer is the shiny one. And then the nut, it'll have a Carter key in it. Now I'm going to tighten this nut up and cinch it against this spring washer. And that should fix my issue. It should fix your issue. Pretty simple concept. Not a bad thing, just wear and tear, preventative maintenance. All right, when you're doing this, you're gonna run into your hazards, turn it on and off, because it's so crammed up in there, you're gonna be smacking it. So if you hear a click, it don't freak out, that's what it is. All right, slop's gone. I like mine a little bit tighter, that way I don't have to worry about this again. It'll settle in a little bit too on its own naturally. So it's tight, okay, you can see I put this Carter, P Carter key back in, and it's there, right there on the end of my screwdriver. Now my nut seems to get against here, and you can see it's not tight, tight, but that should keep it spring-loaded, as well as the Carter key is going to keep that nut, as well as some Loctite I put on it. Now when you put this in, these Carter keys, they don't have to be some certain type of way to where it's impossible to get out bend just one end of it to keep it in there and it'll hold that nut there's no real pressure on that nut trying to spin it's only going to be the amount of pressure you put on the hand lever but try to make this easier on the next guy or yourself if you ever have to pull this back apart that's it